This is arguably the first blues song ever written. It was published in 1850, written by Sarah Graham and Gustav Blessner, two very obscure composers, lyricists. And it's called, I Have Got the Blues Today. Now this is much, much older than blues. Blues came together in the first decade of the 20th century. This, is, precedes, this song precedes the development of mainstream blues by about 50 years. What's going on here? Well, musically, this song is nothing to do with the blues at all. It's a pretty lightweight, very standard Victorian parlour song. In terms of the text, however, there's a very important foreshadowing of blues as a genre. Now, when you think of a typical country blues, Robert Johnson, whoever, or an urban blues, Bessie Smith, there's a couple of things that define the genre. Firstly, there is an assumption, which is not always stated in the song, but it is presumed that the singer has the blues. He's singing about himself and that he, the singer, has the blues. So when Bessie Smith sings, I hate to see the evening sun go down, we assume it's her that she's talking about. These are experiences that she's telling about that she has experienced herself. And also that as a result of those experiences, she had the blues. Now the second thing is, what are the experiences? Well, Typically, they are because her man has left her, or if it's a man singing, because her woman has left him. So, the typical format for a blues song is the singer has the blues, and that his partner, his sexual partner, has left him or her. This is exactly what happens in this song from way back in 1850. The singer goes to a dinner party and he meets a nice lady called Fanny, and they court each other. He's obviously falling in love with her. The next day, however, she deserts him, and as a result of which, he has the blues, and he sings the song. So even though this song is nothing to do with abuse, uh, blues from a musical sense, it is, it does anticipate blues in terms of the whole genre of a blues song. Here are the relevant parts of the song. to 